welcome back to the youtube channel my name is naima and i wanted to make a video about um some random stuff that i've been liking a lot lately and uh, hopefully you enjoy get some ideas tips and maybe you know inspo to purchase these things even though that's not what i should be doing not for 2022 because we're trying to be more responsible with money but here goes so first things first are these earrings right here this is by Orient. they're absolutely amazing they carry little to no weight they are um waterproof they are um, sweat proof they do not oxidize i, I put them in coca-cola to verify i've worn them in the shower like they're so comfortable that i've, I've fallen asleep in them nothing has happened they're like in perfect condition i've been wearing them for about three months now like these are the only earrings that i wear like majuri and orient are the only jewelry brands that i would tell you that i uh I genuinely wear every single day so that was the first item Ori is run by me and my sister so you should really consider checking it out at oriate.shop or on our Etsy which is just um, Oriate Co so I'll start off with the first item so believe it or not I actually got this at the dollar store these earmuffs they are so cute and honestly absolutely soundproof i won't lie when i wear my airpods it kind of hurts because they're super tight but they're also so warm like this and a scarf and that's all you're gonna need this a scarf your face mask and your hood and that's it you're done for the winter you're safe you're warm it's perfect and speaking of warmth the second item that i will be showing is the scarf that i got from uh what's the store called american eagle so the one downtown close, I had to order the one from uh, Bossard. So this, even if it's 20 bucks, shipping did cost me 10 unprovoked. But it's so, it's like a blanket in all honesty. Like usually when I buy winter scarves, I go to the um, the home goods section of winners and I buy a blanket. Literally a blanket. And I would say that it does exactly that. And it's huge. I do look like a ball when I'm walking around, but it's worth it. It's worth it for the warmth that the scarf provides. Unfortunately, it's sold out in white. I think they have them in gray left. It's still, I think, $25, $25 or $30, but I would really recommend. One con to this, it pills. So it pills and then it sheds. I guess that's normal for any, like, like Sherpa-like scarf. Is it not really? But this is this was bound to this was bound to happen. I do highly, highly recommend it, though. Okay, so basically this third item is a calendar. It's initially from Deepound. Um, which is a what's it called a Korean website, but I got mine on AliExpress. It was pretty expensive for a calendar, like twenty bucks, but it's made of fabric, you know, so it's like not unnecessary trash. And l considering how cute this is, I don't see myself ever getting rid of it. Like no matter what, like it's such a cute photo prop too. You know, it doesn't matter if it's a a line to the year or month, but look at it. It's so cute, so lightweight. You just hang it, hang it up on a wall next to like some kind of poster, and it, it just looks so cute. Also, forgive me for not having another print up here. It just like fell off. Uh, boy, did I need that. Okay, but it fell off. The f entire frame fell off. So now I have one art print, which is a flower market Tokyo. Very cute. I'm gonna try to get it replaced very soon. With maybe like a Stockholm one. So yeah, this was the third item. Very cute 2022 calendar. I really like it and yeah third item another item from aliexpress this cup um you're gonna see throughout these videos that i make a favorites that i have a huge obsession with cups this is like the fourth one coming in this week it took about two weeks also it says voila c'est exactement ce qu'il me fallait so cute it's cute it's big and it's like perfect for coffee like when i have my iced coffees and I got it like two days ago and I'm obsessed. Really recommend AliExpress cups, by the way, because it no longer takes like two to six months. This one took 14 days and everything else has been like 20 to 30 at most. Okay, next item. So this I got from the Sephora sale, the Sephora VIB sale. I use my friend's VIB rouge so I can get an additional discount. So this is the Maison Louis-Marie numéro 4, Bois de Balancourt. So you can see that. Bois de Balancourt and it is a roll-on oil perfume I bought it in a set it comes with the perfume itself as well as the candle which I should have shown but this is really what I love the most about it just apply it it really lasts all day and the reason why I love it so much is because one of my favorite perfumes is called Le Labo Santal 33 uh, Santal 33 by, um, by Le Labo basically but it is literally 
after taxes, $310, which is really expensive, okay? And I do, I love their perfume so much, so I'm just like, okay, screw it, let me find a perfect dupe. So I found two, Maison Nuit Marie numéro 4, and also, um, I, I can't remember the name of Sephora, but it's a sandalwood vanilla mix, like Virtue or something like that, I can't remember the name. But this, like this and the Gucci Bloom are the only two perfumes that I wear, actually. So this is really, really good, I recommend it. It smells so nice, musky, musky sandalwood, basically. So these were excluding Te Noir 29 and Santal 33 by Le Labo, because I won't actually be repurchasing those. I wouldn't think that's a good investment, not $600 for two bottles of perfume, nope. So this was given to me by my cousin slash besties for my birthday this year. It smells so good. So what, oh my god, it smells so freaking good. Okay, I can't really explain it, but you know when you go back to like back home and like in Bangladesh and there's a wedding and uh, all the ladies wear white flowers around their hair after tying it, those white flowers have this beautiful smell. It smells exactly like that. Like, that's the only explanation I have. So I apply the Maison Louis Marie um, oil, the Gucci on top, lasts all day. I smell like a meadow and strongly recommend both of these perfumes. The trial for Maison Louis Marie is $20, the trial size. It's really tiny, but the, but the oil perfume alone is $70. I don't know. I don't, I don't know about these prices. I don't know, but it's like... For one thing for sure though is that the set that I got was 120 candle perfume oil roll on for 120. That I think is a good investment because that's gonna last you. It really is. So that portion was for the um, scent portion. There's another scent portion actually. So this Vitruvi diffuser. Can you see it? So basically, I had a collaboration with the brand Vitruvi um, last winter. And it's actually changed the way that um, my room feels and looks and smells because first off this is gorgeous and second it kind of like it, it makes any space looks nice and it makes any s space smell so subtly elegant the scent, the scent that I really have been liking is called velvet right here and their packaging is so cute so this is frankincense bergamot and amber I add like 20 drops to the diffuser. I do mix it with just bergamot. Bergamot, is that how you say it? Bergamot. Okay. Ber bergamot. Um, I add this as well as just a regular uh, bergamot to my Vitruvi diffuser. And my room smells so good. This is a game changer, especially when you're about to go to sleep. Subtle scent and it diffuses for, you choose, for 4 hours to 8 hours. The color around here changes and overall I really, really like it. I would say that it's it's worth the investment. I think it's worth um, 160 or something, but it's worth the investment if you use it every single day, which I do. And I was really lucky to have worked with them as a brand. They're an amazing company. And it sounds like an ad. It's not, unless you want it to be, Vitruvi. And the last part of my favorites is actually something that I oops something that I recently got by a brand called Love et Cru. So this is Japanese ceramic, handmade Japanese ceramic. So these are bowls that I have. I have plates as well and I have the coffee cup which is not here right now. You know, I, sh I think I'm gonna make a separate video just on these. The quality of these are unmatched. They're some of the best, I would say some of the best plateware or tableware. Some of the best tableware I've ever had. First off, just look at it. It's absolutely beautiful and second it's just eating in it. I feel so like je ne sais quoi, like a, like sophisticated and everything plated looks very nice. It's very nice for me to eat like like pretty foods. Do you know? It encourages me like damn that like, this looks really good. Let me take a picture of it. Then I'm gonna eat it. And it's kind of like not that it motivates you, but it's more like you're excited, you're looking forward to create something because this is what you get to plate it on. Okay? I feel like I'm really justifying this purchase because it was a it was a bit of a splurge. I did get it during the the Boxing Day special. And they came straight from Japan within like seven days, which is also unbelievable. But I would say that these are an amazing splurge. If you want, if it's your birthday, and if you can, I recommend Le Vécru severely. Okay. Okay. So for the last portion of this video, it's actually a pair of shoes that I got. So these are the New Balance 530s. The um, infamous dad shoes. I've been really into dad shoes as of a couple, like a year or two now. 
and they're they're so extremely comfortable they are so comfortable like i wish i got into them before without like you know being afraid of me like being made fun of because my whole family roasted me for these until you actually put one on and realize just how comfortable they are like i could i've worn them like what 10 hours straight I've walked around everywhere like the initial ones that I have is the New Balance 990 V5 which are the best shoes I own it's even better it's like the best shoes I literally own and these have been I've been wanting for a couple months now but they've been sold out everywhere so when editorial had them I ordered them right away went there picked them up and in the size 6.5 so again the New Balance 530s I do recommend them. For example, any yeah, just these, this, uh, for example, the sweater, pair of trousers, or like sweats, even leggings, anything really goes with this. And it kind of makes any outfit a little bit more, I don't want to say dressy because that's not the case, but more like in a way put together. As if, you know, this was an intentional outfit, and that's just how it makes me feel. And maybe, maybe you might like them too, especially considering how comfortable they are. So, for my random favorites and things I've been loving lately, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got any kind of inspo or tips from it. Um, I do hope that this doesn't feed into your um, buying addiction if you have one. I think I'm projecting. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments if there's anything else that I can make. Uh, I should make a video out of and I'll, I will gladly do it. And yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs>